What is hello folks? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's are doing good. You feel me? Alright, so in the last video was, I, I talked about how hot smogs are gonna be a thing of the past, and that kind of like segues into this video. Um, why I haven't been able to smog my car yet. Basically, what it boils down to is the scientists that work for Carb and the Bar are a liar sometimes. Oh boy. What am I talking about in this video? How it would be easier, not more cost effective, but it'd be easier for me to put in a LS motor. And I'm not talking about an Integra LS motor, I'm talking about a V8, an LS3. I can get a carb legal LS3 kit that can be put into literally any car that is a 95 or older, I believe it was. This kit is offered by these people here and um, basically what, what it allows you to do is put a V8, like I said, in virtually any car that you have the means of being able to put it into. Um, I got a buddy. He's got a Nissan 300ZX. He just got his car barred for a V8. And I can't bar my car for a four-cylinder CRV motor because it's a small truck motor. And it wouldn't be safe. It couldn't be safe. But a V8 in a, <laughs> in a previously front-wheel slash four-wheel drive uh, Civic wagon, totally legal, totally safe, perfect. If you live in California... That's what Gavin Newsom wants you to do, I guess. I, I really don't get it. Um, I'm sure the people that are enforcing these laws don't get it. I know for a fact my local bar technician doesn't get it um, because I spoke to him and he's the one that told me that the CRV motor, the JDM CRV motor is not um, like barrable in, in this state. According to him anyways, I've been hearing about uh, techs out in Oakland or like Hayward or something like that that are still actually doing the bar for the B20s um, but if I went through my local uh, bar tech um, I would need to actually put in an LS and Integra LS this time um, in here get that barred and then I could bar the B20 as a replacement motor for the B18 but I haven't really had that much luck. Um, I'm not financially stable enough to even really go about doing this quite yet. And that's why this project's kind of been at a standstill and why I've been focusing on doing stuff that I can't afford to do like paint and the headliner and you know, other stuff. But basically I could get a, a, a V8 LS3 from this company and basically put a v8 in, in my car and that would be just fine with the state of california but replacing it with my four cylinder with another four cylinder that came from a small truck even though they came from cars in other countries um that's that's bad that's not allowed i am a negligent person i don't care about the environment and i i want to destroy all the new green technology out in the world but if i put a v8 in here that's just fine i could put a v8 in here and get like five miles per gallon or whatever and and just have emissions like crazy just burning fuel like crazy that's fine with the state of california but not the crv motor um yeah so my buddy he recently got his his nissan uh, barred uh, here in the state of course so there's only a state that does this and there's other examples like this uh, 240 right here the audacity that the people that wrote this article have saying an engine made for California Jesus Christ the biggest win of the story is a California based auto enthusiast who took the proper channels to build his dream car you can't make this up And this BMW right here, um, these people have all been able to get their cars barred with a V8 when the V8 never came in either of those models. And that's just fine in this state. But if I want to put a CRV motor in my car, I'm just a piece of shit. 
So that's my quick little rant about California's smog laws and um, how even when you try to do everything right, they'll still find a way to tell you that you're wrong and you're a horrible person. And uh, it's just things like this that make Republicans right about this state. The overregulation, the government overreach in this state has been getting ridiculous. If you watched the previous video on hot smogs being a thing of the past in California, you could hear me rant about that. So um, take that how you want it. Uh, but that's just the reality that I'm living in here, folks, in California. One of the worst places and best places to live in the world. I, I, I really feel that way. It's like one of the best places in the world, but it's also one of the worst places to live at the same time. And, um, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so that's going to end this video, you guys. Just wanted to rant and complain about all my poor decisions. Look at me. Peace out. Here. Just to be 100% clear, I am not hating on the fact that people can LS swap their cars. I think you should be able to swap whatever kind of motor you're you're able to into your car. As long as you have a catalytic converter and you pass smog as as if it was that that car that the motor came out of and it passes smog, I th more power to you. I think that's how it should be. But it's just not. So, yeah. Just wanted to clarify.